Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Hey, buona sera, Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right, right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motors safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this on a row, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs>
Sammy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful.
back to patrols. We'll get him next time. to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him. Because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moments. Oh. Jeffrey, we've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Europe. We got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start.
Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months' rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Something, huh? Cheers. Nah, but, uh... Maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. You, mama, made that well easy to Tommy. When they starts to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? Oh, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She sure, sure, sure will, Tom. Thanks. How you doing? That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey. 
Anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end sourly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. First time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. Thus starts to try to clear us out before dark to the Gnola. The party won't stop. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Well, came by. Five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> said what did you say Polly I said this guy can drive Don Salieri this is a guy who can drive and here we are here we are right here that's where we are you put me to shame Tom look at you now you're even a some kind of race car driver we all got up. Doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. You've done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the dawn asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Hey, do the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems 
more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Woo-hoo-hoo! I'll leave it to you to swim at the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's there's a blue sign. Uh -huh. Made with the same home. blend of tobaccos used in mm. reds and blues, but mm. with a refreshing menthol yeah. taste. This is the yeah. smoothest smoke we've Good ever idea. produced. Taste the fresh yeah. taste of well, Big Break White. Okay, I'm gonna... Think of our city, Sweet dreams, Lancers, tough guy. The Courier, uh, and they think I'm of Behringer. Gonna... Not bad company, eh? Yeah, I... Behringer's department I don't store, feel so good. institution. That's the call, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah? <laughs> the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. This is... Uh, Back of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk of blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak at the mind. Or maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you working at home, this is a reminder these punks she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Sarah, time to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. Tommy, quit goofing off. I guess. You can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Sarah! That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tommy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. 
Yeah. Well, it's um, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home with the Luigi, then you get the flowers. Yeah, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are... I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where are you going there, sweet cheeks? Back off! <laughs> Billy Trey, you're some kind of dish, ain't ya? Get away from hey. me! Twist like you did, Billy! Leave it, Where you going there, sweet cheeks? Back off! Oh, Trey. Hey. You're some kind of dish, ain't ya? Get away from me! Twist like you was wasted on that grease. Hey, John, those pins go all the way up, huh? You even punch me in your face. You're wasting your time on dead like that. You ain't a real guy. I'm not the kind of dangerous you pal. Open him up. Let's see some blood. Hey! now hope you're better than your friends
my turn now. Hope you're better than your friends. You're some kind of god, <laughs> ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> I like you when you you know that? That's why I keep coming back. That's what I got, you son of a bitch. Get away from me! You got a good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. Take another. All right. You're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Because I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because... She was an ugly... Jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but... It'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. That's up, though. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biffle knows something. Tommy. 
Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. I don't sure. Let's go bust some heads. Punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? Like a guy's calling after...